Hello, this is Sancho from the Crane Elevation Show. Our celebrity voices are... Are... Impersonated... Bang? What's the word? Impersonated. Oh, Im are impersonated unless otherwise stated by Ben, Caleb, or Miggy. Broadcasting from within the Ebor Muta Triangle, live from the Lion's Den at 1704 and a half, yes, a half, East 7th Avenue, Ebor City, Florida, it's the Cranial Emission Show. Ben Charles, Caleb Crispy, and Miguel Hito. Whoa. I'm a little scared. I feel like I'm going to get bit by that lion over there. <laughs> wow, Ben. I'm really loud. Might want to check that mic on there. Your, your mic's coming in, coming in hot? Coming in hot, maybe. Welcome to the Cranial Mission Show, folks. Coming to you live from the debut episode of our Ebor City tour here at the Lion's Den, the... The opening night for the Lion's Den, which uh, they're doing a little scrambling right now, trying to get everything up, uh, get, get it on point, getting all ready. But we've got some people piling in here. And uh, all you live listeners out there that were a little patient uh, with the late start, thank you for that. If you want to be a part of the show, you want to call in, you can do so. 813-438-6068. Oh, I do have it up, Ben. I do have Skype up, I oh, think. Do you? You, you did remember to put what? it up? What? Ben Charles Miguel Hito. Caleb Crispy here, and of course the great, the only, unfortunately the only producer because he's the unpaid producer. Sancho Sanchez here with us as well. Yeah, well, I gotta make my money on the side. Yeah, <laughs> well, you gotta make your money somewhere. Yeah, so. I started being in evening. <laughs> Did you say on the side or inside? No, any side. Uh, so uh, that was pretty. <laughs> that was again pretty <laughs> ambiguous. Whatever. <laughs> but this is our new digs here at the Lions Den. It's what seventeen oh four and a half. Seventeen oh four and a half. 7th Avenue, Ebor City, Florida. Here in Ebor City, the old James Joyce. Yeah, in Ebor City. Doing a lot of renovation here. It's come a long way over the several months that Brian's been working on this. And uh, Brian Lyon will actually be joining us later. We're going to be bringing him on the air to talk to him about the impetus behind the bar, all the efforts he's gone to put this together. From across the pond, we will also be joined by a man expertly skilled at blending in during his visit to the colonies. The man, <laughs> the myth... The legend, Steve Hope, a.k.a. Hopey, Hopey, will be joining us in a little bit. Uh, as well as our usual menagerie of odd news, sports, sex, you know, and everything in between. So, without further ado, triumvirate, assemble. <laughs> <laughs> and let's kick it off the way we always do, and that is with... The anti-beer call, because we're all drinking Don, Don Gijo rum today. Okay, but we need a, we need a song, me for, uh, for the... <laughs> 18. Really? Really? They are digging in the wrong place. Oh, that's right. Indiana uh, Jones. Oh, that's right. Sorry. And yeah, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, yeah. which they did change to Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark past the first one because they exa uh, exacerbated the series to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Indiana Jones and the... Uh, 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 the Crystal the, Skull. No, no, no. The Temple of Doom. Don't say the last one. That's The not Temple a, of Doom, and then they just totally uh, mind-raped us with the, the Crystal Skull. Don't say raped. Bill Cosby's going to come looking. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? I'm Actually, sorry. I've got a rape story in a little bit, so we'll be. Nice, Bill Casby's touching women. Well, you, you, speaking of rape, we did just uh, the Buccaneers just picked up James Winston. Oh, oh. Uh, so allegedly, 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 he's in town. We'd like him to come on the radio eventually, not steal crab legs from us. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but he wasn't. He was given the crab legs. He, so was, he, he was. Technically, he, technically, he stole them, but with permission. Yeah. Can we say that? We can say that. We can. Oh, and, and here again enters the the very. Uh, we are amongst royalty. We are. We, we are. Mr. Cheese, Mr. Hope, and there's Andrew. He's the, doing such a good job blending <laughs> in. I don't even the, see The him very there. incognito Steve Hope, who looks like uh, he's not from across the pond. He looks like a colonial the way he's dressed today. 
<laughs> but yeah, this is the non-beer call. We're all drinking. What's the, what's Don't the name forget, of the we have we have Father Cheese here today. Oh. He, the man, the myth, oh, the do. legend, we the have legend, mofos. Father is Cheese, here. the father of Lord Cheese, who we've done a show from his house uh, once upon a time at Cheese Manor. This is true, and we're always whenever I see him, I always think I'm going to give a Donkey Strawberries. That's where we're going with that one today. <laughs> oh, and the, his, his, his beautiful wife is here, too. Dear gosh, we, we, have, we are blessed. Stacey Cheese, Mrs. Cheese, dear God. It's a, it's a British invasion. What is going on? It's a British invasion over here, for sure. But, oh, uh, my gosh. But the non-beer call. Bring so the, what are we drinking here today, gents? Don, uh, Don Julio? Don Geto. Rum. Cor- Cornholio <laughs> rum? Cornholio, I have no yeah. idea. Okay. Whatever the hell they had behind the bar. It's a little something with a little splash of this. Uh, uh, oh, clinky. Oh, there we go. We got a good sound. Good but, sound. But we are here at the Lion's Den, so come on up. Get your tuckus here. Get a drink from behind the bar from the lovely Tracy, who is there to serve you. And, uh, yeah, I mean, from the beer call, let's go ahead and jump right into some of the beer stories that we do have. Now, this, uh, actually, in a, a week and a half, we've got the American Beer Week coming up. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. American Craft Beer Week. It starts May 11th, from 11th to the 17th. And this is a nationwide thing going on now florida florida had uh, we about a month ago florida had theirs like the florida craft beer week so that's when we did the festivals we did the one at uh, the gator cafe wait, no i'm sorry the cajun cafe uh esb of course did that um well don't you don't you don't you turn me down don't you turn don't you, what do you tell me is mike's too loud don't you turn me he's down he's picking up everything in the back yeah now yeah. You, you think i am you're crazy. <laughs> but that's the cool thing about picking up everything. We get the crowd noise in here. People think this place is full as a motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't say that. Did I say that? But no, I mean, yeah, anyways, Florida anyways. had the craft beer week, but this is the national drive, and every state's going to yes. have their own version of it as well. So the craft beer industry taking the country by storm to the point where now we have a week for it. So it's No, we have two weeks because Florida already had theirs, so now we got another one. We're just making excuses. It's like making an excuse to give a woman a diamond ring. You know, get the beers. We're calling the beers on this one. Lots so of, it's an lots excuse of, to drink. Lots of craft of beers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and, and also, you know, speaking of giving a woman a diamond ring. Ugh. Tia, I'm sorry. My condolences. <laughs> we, we had a lovely weekend this past week. My, did, we, did we? My liver is still recovering. <laughs> you, oh, you know what? My elbow's still recovering and my loudness is still recovering from the dip in the pool with all our clothes on. That was I, fun. Uh, oh, real, really interesting things. Lord in Cheese married <laughs> Miss Tia. So she is now the, the uh, Lady Cheese. Lady Cheese of the Manor. She is here. And uh, yes, this is. Uh, I'm, I'm still recovering from this. Thank you guys, by the way. The the 39 straight hours of well, 39 hours out of three days worth of drinking, oh. which doesn't even make sense. Cause no. <laughs> but but if you were there, it does make sense. Oh my god, Jesus. my god, my liver is still recovering from this. Now I, I know you had <laughs> another beer story, but this one involves raw sewage. <laughs> yeah, well, this might make your liver uh, l- l- liver turn a little bit too there. But uh, what were you gonna say? We have done this story before, and this is a nice little update on things that are going on with this story. Go ahead. Well, this is a story where um, it's in, in uh, Oregon, and this uh, sewage treatment, water treatment facility has challenged home brewers to make beer with their uh, distilled wastewater. It was home brewers? Yeah, it's home brewers. Oh, I thought they, were, they put it to a brewery to do no, it. No, it's, it's home brewers, and uh, there's a contest. You can win up, up to $100, and they're going to feature your beer. But the weird thing about this is they want you to... Uh, Showcase the water in the beer. Not the hops, not the barley, the water. See, that doesn't make a lot of sense because if they're, what they're doing is they're stripping the water and pretty much almost distilling the water. So you have a n- very neutral, nothing product. So Bud Light? So why don't they just can the water and say, here, drink this crap? Well, not anymore, but that's, yeah. yeah oh, well. man. Oh, now, now, is it on draft or is it in bottle? Yeah, no, they're going to they're gonna keg it and they're going to... It's on ass. <laughs> I don't want it unless it's in a bottle. Aluminum can bottle. Yeah, I want it. I only want it if it's in an aluminum can bottle. Bud Light aluminum can bottle is the only. I only want it. my distilled sewage water. I would go out and get my own, even if I had free beer around me. I would. I if would. it was made out of sewage and in a keg, in a, I would no. still leave absolutely and <laughs> get it and only in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe you, Mister Cheese, did not have Bud Light aluminum can bottles. The nerve at your wedding. <laughs> you, sir. Failed at your hospitality. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. he didn't drink half the liquor. He came home with like <laughs> thirty-five. No, you know what? He he tasked us on on drinking certain things at that wedding, but he, he was very uh, 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 erratic with it. He would say, "Oh no, no, no! You have to make sure all the champagne's gone." 
So then we'd work on that. They'd say, oh, no, no, we have a keg. You got to make sure you kill that. He, all he would have to do is point in a direction of liquor, and you go, oh, and you run over there <laughs> like a... Like, <laughs> No, I didn't run, Miggy. I stumbled. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Running yeah. was an impossibility at that point. We did end up in a weird, uh, almost human centipede, nut to butt conga line down this water slide, which was very uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I might add, with with uh, Woodsy behind me. Oh, oh I don't God. know. If was, was that when he was naked? I felt skewered. No, well, he got naked <laughs> later. Woodsy got yeah. naked. Did later he get fully I, naked? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm glad I he went. He went full naked. Full was frontal. Was this after the the lantern flying thing? <laughs> we proceeded to burn half of them. <laughs> well, for, for y'all listening at home that do not know what happened at this uh, this wedding, Ooh, recap. It can only be described with, with uh, you know just a, a little little recap. So four people lost their clothes during the night. What? Myself being one of them, couldn't find them. Where was I at? I don't know. Sweet. Um, what else happened? You one and I both lost our wallets. Yeah, one person went down the slide naked. That was Woodsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Single dad problems. Um. <laughs> What else? Oh, oh! Uh, the, two the, the, people the, fell asleep in the ball pit. Two people fell asleep in the ball pit. Who was yeah. that? Passed out. Uh, we, well, let's not mention names. No, come on, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Woods, uh, we already got Woodsy no, in the. No names shall be mentioned in terms of who slept in the ball pit, Christina. <laughs> oh, well, that's not a surprise. Uh, what else happened? Uh, I didn't say any names. One individual decided to pee in the movie theater room. Oh, oh. and then broke his foot. Then broke his foot and what? then stole Ben's clothes. Mike. No, no, no. Then absconded with my wallet. Actually, Mikey did take a di- dip in the pool. Poor bastard, lost his phone and everything. Oh, that was not his fault. I know it was. Apparently, me. everybody's Allegedly. reaching for him. I'm like, uh, I'm backing up. I'm not even. I'm nothing to do with that action. A raucous party for the union of the cheese royal family over here. Absolutely, so, it was awesome. Uh, I did have fun. It was a blast. But I found my my found my seven hundred dollar watch outside the car two days later. Sitting in the grass. I dropped my watch out of my pocket. <laughs> and my Belova watch, I found it in the grass. This was where? At the at my, no, at my house. No, no, oh. no, yeah, at my house. Oh, you thought you lost it over at the... At no, the... I just happened to walk out to Sherry's car, and her wheel was about two inches from it. So I almost lost my $700 watch. I tell you what was amazing about... One last thing about the, the wedding. I tell you what was amazing about the Ever After Estate. That was pretty interesting. Where, where they had going. the wedding. This was on 63 acres. Water slide, miniature golf, three different compounds, if you will, with rooms and Movie everything. Movie theater, ball pits. Luxuriously appointed, arcade, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And yet, the one thing that wasn't there was a cell phone signal. I had, I had signal fine. Yours worked? Yeah. The other thing that wasn't there, apparently, most of the time, was the golf cart. Well, <laughs> that is true. Oh, yes. who took the golf cart? I heard about that. I heard that that, that may or may not have <laughs> been uh, Caleb. Who didn't take the golf cart? You uh, took Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's, that's nice. <laughs> anyway. Mo- moving on. Moving on. We're moving on to finish out this segment the way we do every single week after a week hiatus because of the cheese wedding, and that is with the Badass of the Week. cha 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 the Badass of the Week. Badass of the Week. Yeah. yeah. Now, today's Badass of the Week. You know, sometimes you're a badass just because you're tough. Sometimes you're a badass because you make things happen. And this was... Actually, a, uh, a British gentleman that decided that the only way to solve the pothole problem on his street, because he couldn't get the local authorities to remedy this problem, he decided the only way to do so was by drawing... I thought he was in Ireland. Was he in Ireland? I think he was, because we sent this to Jimmy Poodle over there in Northern Ireland. Same thing. Well... Yeah. Yeah. Paddy, it's a paddy or a wanker, <laughs> neither or whatever. Anyway, so this gentleman decided the only way to remedy the potholes on the street was to surround each pothole with a chalk drawing of a penis and the um, the berries. W- was his name Steve Hope? What is he? The, what is he? The new Banksy? Yeah, and instead of Banksy, he goes by the name Wanksy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. We now, sh- well, yeah, what's great about this is. <laughs> In an effort to cover these, immediately the local officials went and started paving over the potholes to try to paint over the actual painting of the uh, genital type of drawing. So this was actually working very well. Ooh, at Comedy Reddit. Reddit Comedy just favorited our uh, live show. So good on you guys. Good on you guys. Thanks for listening. What are they thinking? Oh, they, they don't even have any idea, do they? Again, this is the Cradle Mission Show broadcasting for the first time. Here from the Lions Den on our Ybor City tour. 
you know, if you're a fan of the show, we did take a week off. If you're a fan, you can find us on social media. You can go to Facebook. You can like the page there, facebook.com slash the Cranial Emissions Network. If you are a Twitter user, well, then follow us on Twitter at Cranial E. You want to be a part of the show, you want to call in, you can do so. That number is 816-870-0590.